Well, we have a lot of your Irish press watching us. They're just now leaving the room. <laughs> and, and where are you from? Go ahead. Come here. Come here. Where are you uh-huh. from? We have all of this beautiful Irish press. Where are you uh, from? I'm from RTE News. The RTE. Taoiseach will know me. It's oh, Katrina Perry here. Taoiseach. Katrina Perry. She has a nice smile on her face. So I bet she treats you well. <laughs> point out that the person giggling was not me. People was thought not? that was me. I that thought was, it was. No, that was the Deputy National Security Advisor, Dina Powell, the woman you can see sitting just oh. on the edge of the screen. I thought it was you for nervously record, going along going, Jay, no, what's going on here? No, no. I mean, like you, I'm aware there's cameras on at all times, so you have to be yeah, in yeah, control yeah. of your person. He beckoned you over with his finger. What are you thinking when he does that? Honestly, I was thinking, um, this is a bit bizarre. Uh, but I'm in the man's office and he's the president of the United States and he wants to know who I am. So, you you know, out of politeness and manners, you have no choice other than to walk up to the desk and yes. explain who you are. And it was also bizarre because, you know, of course I would love a one-on-one with President Trump and ask him all the questions about his policies and everything else that he does. Um, but that was not the time and place. So... I was walking up thinking, where is this going? <laughs> you know? yeah. And uh, he said, where are you from? And I think he meant in Ireland. But, you know, I wasn't about to launch into a conversation like, oh, I'm from Dublin, you know, or whatever. Yeah. So I just, you know, said I was from RT. That was the reason I was in the room, etc. cetera. Um, but, yeah, it was just very bizarre. When he said, what did he say? There's a nice smile or something? Did yeah. He, uh, how did you feel about that? Um, honestly, I do, the whole thing was... Were, were you flattered or insulted? Kind of neither, to be honest. Really? Yeah. Um, like, I know a lot was made of it and so on, but um, in the moment I was doing my job, I was in my place of work. Like, the White House was one of my places of work. I'm yeah. around the president a lot. Um, I know how he behaves. I know what he says. Um, you, and he are, comes are you, out with stuff like that. Are you excusing him a little bit now? Um, no, I don't think so. I just, you know, at the mo- at that point in time, I did not feel like it probably was actually more of an eye roll type moment, you know? <laughs> like, For you? Yeah, which I didn't do, obviously, because I'm a professional. Of course. Um, <laughs> but... Uh, what, what seemed to happen was that after the event, everyone seemed to want to claim you. Uh, people wanted to say you're a victim. People wanted to say you weren't a victim. People wanted, you know, everyone felt they, they, they deserved a piece of the story. And, and in fact, there was no clarity then. Do you know what I mean by all of that? No, I do, of course. That was partly because I didn't do any interviews about it at the yeah. time. So no one actually knew what I thought about it. And there was, I don't know how long it is, 15, 20 seconds, something like that. Yeah. It's so short, but actually it's quite dramatic. And the words used and just the gestures and the president and so on, you can kind of read anything you want into it and it was very interesting for me to see how people did that so people who don't like president trump said said oh it's so sexist and he's demeaning her and it's workplace uh, harassment and this is outrageous and so on and people who like people who do like trump said look he's really nice to the media he's not mean to them at all now you've had plenty he's of giving t- her a compliment she can't take a compliment I don't know where they got that from, but it was just it was just so bizarre. And I can't explain the experience of the next sort of 48 hours where every single channel in America that I flicked through, the major US networks, were playing that video on loop. And then they would have panels of four, sometimes six people. 